So I've just recorded my preview for the Watford game. And obviously, just before that, it was announced that Bowyer made a big decision regarding the coaching staff at Birmingham City. Um, and I said that I would do a video on it, so I'm doing one now. Um, and obviously, this big decision is not that major, but expected, but possibly could yet change. Not sure. Uh, but Craig Gardner has been promoted to the assistant managerial job at Birmingham City. I think Craig has been very lucky this season, considering earlier this season he started off at Blues as a Hurst first team coach. He kind of um, was a bit iffy with his decisions and then left, obviously, with disagreements under Karanka uh, and joined Tony Poulis at Sheffield Wednesday. Tony Poulis then got sacked at Sheffield Wednesday. He then returned to Blues, which was within the space of two weeks, under Karanka still as first team coach. Um, since Karanka has been sacked, he did look more involved, and so did the new professional development manager or whatever his title is. Um, he was brought up to be on the bench as well. Um, I think that's simply because Bowie didn't want any of Karanka's coaching staff on the bench. But he has obviously promoted... Craig Gardner today to his assistant manager, which is good news and possibly bad news, but he wants to add another member to his backroom staff, which is the key bit that I see there. He wants to add one more member to his backroom team, but not straight away. Now, the question by this is, is he saying Craig Gardner will be assistant manager till the end of the season, then I will bring someone in? If so, it's got to be massively expected that it's got to be Jackson from um, Charlton. Because it's been his assistant manager for three years. They're great mates. Um, it's just expected. But, as he says here, he moved Craig up to, as he was first team coach here. He brought him up to assistant. I will look to bring in another assistant to work alongside Craig. So, he's looking for someone else to come in to be Craig's superior whilst not being superior assistant i guess is how you put it um but it says here it's not so really so much now it's the summer that you need to type, focus on these type of things so he's saying there this announcement will not be made until the end of the season i will not be looking at a new backroom staff until the end of the season i could see him probably bringing in a few other members of backroom staff over the summer as well um and in the next couple of weeks, he will reevaluate all this as he hasn't had time to speak to anyone, let alone organise anything else. Um, obviously, Craig knows the team quite well. Um, been with the team for ages. Played for the team. Been coached for the team. Been assistant manager for the team now. Uh, and he's been here with multiple times. Re retired at the club. So he knows the club quite well. So I guess he's a very good person to have passion-wise towards the club. And passion is kind of one of the things we needed. But as it says there, there have been speculation over whether he'd bring Johnny Jackson to Blues, but it emerged that he will continue under his role at, with Nigel Atkins. So whether he attempted to bring him and he said, no, I want to stay where I am, or whether he attempted to bring him and he went, I might get this manager role. Wait a minute. Then he didn't get the manager role and he went, I'll come at the end of the season. This is also possible. Um, obviously, Nigel Atkins will probably want his own backroom staff. Will he want Jackson? Will he not want Jackson? It probably wouldn't go down well at Charlton if Jackson left. But Jack Jackson and Bowyer worked very well as a partnership. So you never know. So obviously, this is news but there isn't much to talk about <laughs> with it it's, it's only a little bit of news of jackson won't be coming initially at least and craig gardner will be the assistant manager until the end of the season so he's probably a temporary assistant but yeah it's an announcement so i thought i would speak up a little bit on it so i could upload another video at this kind of time anyway thanks for watching this guys Onto the Watford game. Keep right on.